during Lil Uzi Vert's most recent Rolling Loud performance, he performed with spiked hair, red outfit, satanic belt with a demon possessed look, and there's more. During his performance, he said he make a city girl believe in Satan. And after receiving backlash, according to an article, Lil Uzi Vert said he was referring to his girlfriend, who is a member of City Girl Rap Duo. But there's by far a more sinister agenda Lil Uzi Vert is pushing. During another performance, Lil Uzi Vert told his fans they are coming to hell with him. And if ain't nobody flying up to heaven right now, obviously all y'all motherfuckers going to hell. Right with me. And when his fans asked him, did he sell his soul to the devil? Listen to Lil Uzi Burke's response. Did I sell my soul? I sold my soul for you. Now figure that out. Y'all coming right with me. Lil Uzi Burke made it clear to his fans that he made a deal with the devil for his soul. And not to mention, he's obsessed with mocking God. He wears an upside down cross around his neck that he purchased for $350,000. Notice his stage lit up with upside down crosses. And during his most recent performance, he depicted himself as burning crosses on stage. Oftentimes when an artist is pushing a diabolical agenda, they would do it in privacy. Unlike Lil Uzi Vert, he blatantly makes it known that he's a Satanist by throwing up devil horns and he performs with pentagrams on his belt. And have you noticed more and more artists are wearing red during their performance? They are doing this because occultists associates red with blood sacrifice. That's why Lil Uzi Vert's music promotes death. Also in regards to blood sacrifice, I believe the crosses are read on stage to mock the crucifixion of Jesus because Jesus shed his blood for the sins of the world. They always have an agenda in mind. Nothing is by coincidence. I'm telling you, we are in spiritual warfare. And Paul said, put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. I truly believe the music industry are using their artists to mock God and to deceive the masses to worship Satan. This explains why they present evil as good and good as evil. Their motive is to condition the minds of the culture to accept wickedness as normal. That's why the Bible says, have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. Young people, older people, and in between, don't be deceived. God is not mocked. Whatsoever a man soweth, that what he shall reap. God bless you.